Grandad Jack, the king of the baby ballet castle in the sky, which is where I am now. I'm here today to tell you a story. <laughs> tell me, uh, do you like stories? Oh dear, I seem to be going a bit deaf. I said, do you like stories? <laughs> I definitely heard you that time. You do like stories. Oh, I am so glad. Welcome to my story time. I'm so glad that you could come. It's wonderful to see you here. We're going to have so much fun. But it's no good me just sitting here. You know just what to do. So settle down into your beds. I have a story here for you. <laughs> a trip to the zoo. It was a lovely sunny day and we were all in the castle gardens wondering what we could do. Twinkle and Teddy were pretending to be wild animals when suddenly Chuck came up with a brilliant idea. Let's all go to the zoo for the day. Well, we all thought that was a wonderful idea. So, we jumped into Kitty, the baby ballet car, and flew off to the zoo. <laughs> when we got there, we headed straight to the elephants, because I love elephants. In fact, I know a song about elephants. <clears throat> Nelly the elephant packed her trunk and said goodbye to the circus. Off she went with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I completely forgot you were there. <laughs> now where was I? Um, ah yes, it was feeding time for the elephants and they were using their, um, oh, um, what are they called now? Um, uh, they're, they're long and they, they move side to side and up and down and the elephants use them to, to eat with, you know, um, what, what are they? <laughs> yes, you're right, they're called trunks. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Next, Chuck wanted to go and see the lions. He loves lions, and on this particular day, they were all out, lying in the sun, so we could see lots of them. Chuck started jumping up and down with excitement, and one of the lions roared at him. <laughs> Chuck then jumped so very high, we all laughed. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> Twinkle and Teddy decided it was time for lunch after that. Luckily, Flutterstar had packed us all a lovely picnic, so we sat and watched the penguins while we ate our sandwiches. They were very funny, waddling from side to side and swimming underneath the water to catch little fishes for their lunch. Twinkle and Teddy were glad Flutterstar had packed some of their lovely pink porridge as they did not want fish sandwiches for their lunch. <laughs> it was nearly time to set off home, but not before Flutterstar took us all to see the giraffes. Oh, they were so elegant with their long legs and necks. We all practiced walking on tiptoes to see if we could be as tall as them. <laughs> All too soon it was time to head off home, and when we all got back to the baby ballet castle in the sky, we couldn't stop yawning. We were so very sleepy. <laughs> so, after supper, we got our pyjamas on, brushed our teeth, and settled down to listen to the baby ballet lullaby. Ah. <sighs> Whilst we snuggled in our beds, closed our eyes, and drifted off to sleep, we all dreamt of the baby ballet fun we would have tomorrow. <laughs> oh, now, 
wasn't that a wonderful story, boys and girls? And we hope your grown-ups loved it too. But now, my story is over. And... Oh, excuse me. I'm very tired too. I'll see you again soon, baby ballet stars. But for now, it's time for me to say goodbye from here in the baby ballet castle in the sky. <laughs> Close your eyes and snuggle down tight and to all of you a magical good night. It's the end of a baby ballet class. We're all very tired but we know that this will pass. It's the end of the day at the baby ballet class. We wave goodbye again and curtsy as we pass.